Good morning, little weed. Hello, my boy. Good morning. <laughs> and goodbye now because, oh, it is nearly 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. And ladies and gentlemen, I am welcoming your faces to a new dawn and a new day. But my name is Tom. I film every single weekday of my life. And I put it on the internet for your faces. And we are up this nice and early. If you can class nearly 10 a.m. as nice and early because we are going to the gym. I haven't stood on these scales for a sweet minute. So we're about to find out whether or not all this exercise I've been doing is doing anything at all. Because I would like to be 70 kg. But ah, yes, after a weekend of debauchery of alcohol and eating whatever the hell I want, um, I'm 71.35. So I'm just gonna slide that under there and pretend I didn't see anything. But what we need to see is whether or not I am having horse food for breakfast or some Scottish oats. And spoiler alert, William Wallace didn't win today. Now I'm waking up feeling pretty fresh and pretty fine, but unfortunately, someone who isn't doing is Lydia and Alfie. The poor guys, they woke up and they are full of a cold. Like Alfie is just sniffling and snotty like crazy. And Lydia just tried speaking to me to the point where I couldn't even understand her or hear her because her voice is that completely short. Like she's not been screaming and shouting. She's just full of a cold and it's just completely attacked her. So unfortunately, they are not doing too well and severely under the weather. Like they've only just got better from previously being ill with like a flu, like I don't know, just over a week ago or something and they've already caught another one but i think that's just one of the things that i've been like sort of a newborn baby is he newborn yet oh my gosh if i think i'm right in saying it is indeed the 4th of june which means alfie my son today is officially seven months old what is going on he's only two months away from being out closer to being longer than he was in my boy! And uh, it would seem I was really off with him being a newborn baby because that classes is um, two months old. And according to this Pampers website, at seven months old, my son is a copycat. Which he kind of is because I'm going to roll a clip now from when Lydia and Alfie and her family went to Marrakesh and they taught Alfie to wave and he actually did it. Roll a clip. Can you do it, Alfie? What are you doing? I'm just so proud of him, like seven months old already, and he's just making me just gush with excitement of how much I love him. But like something now that I love more than anything is when he comes like crawling in super fast and you hear like the slapping of his, his thighs and his legs along the mats. But I cannot wait until I hear like, <laughs> and he's running and giggling into here because whenever he walks into a room, looks up and sees me, he's like, hey. <laughs> so as soon as he runs in and gives me that look, I'm just going to chase him back and I cannot wait. Like, I, I've always been looking forward to being a dad, but I tell you what, it's bloody worth it. It's a bloody stressful at times, absolutely. Especially when you're in a foreign country running into a hospital because of an allergic reaction. Wow, that's a feeling you'll never like be able to fully understand until you're in that moment, but... I love my boy. <laughs> Seven months! <laughs> I had to quickly run upstairs and give him a squeeze and put his little half six month birthday crown on. But look at him! Seven months old! <laughs> Come here, Groggy. How are you feeling? I'm all right. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, little dude! <laughs> okay, let's go. Don't know how I manage this like nearly every time I go to the gym, but I'm like sat there waiting. Got loads of time in the world, loads of time in the world. And then before you know it, I've got three minutes to be there before I'm late. Come on, beast from the east. Do not break down on me now. World's slowest gates are opening. I have two minutes to get to the gym. And I'm two minutes late. Sorry. That's the wrong number! Unreal scenes. We keep it going. Fifth session, that? Fifth. Yeah. Six on... Thursday. Thursday. 
Nice. Oh, it is chilly outside. And of course, it is absolutely chucking it down. I'm supposed to be going on a bike ride at five o'clock tonight with my dad and by supposed to be, I am doing so. I'm either gonna get soaked wet through or this weather is gonna turn around for the better. Uh, but it is now currently 20 to 12. I've spoken to Gavin Lomax and I'm probably going to Howden's because apparently there's a bit of an issue with the ordering of the units that we were hoping to get installed today. So I need to go there and clarify in person which ones I need. But also because Lydia is under the weather, she wants a jacket potato. So we're gonna go and get a one now. The village bakery. Let's bloody go. <laughs> what, have you, what have you been doing behind that counter? What's, what's on your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Always good to see those guys. Oh my gosh. Honey, I'm home. I am providing the good good. Oh hell nah. I will take this food back to where it came from if we don't get that macapaca looking peanut thing off our televisions right now. Yeah. My boy! Get it, get it. My boy! My big boy! How you doing? Are you excited to see daddy? <laughs> Why is this on my screen? We're gonna have stern words in a minute, my boy. But first, we feast. I've actually got Rita's rain in the fridge to eat, but this is quite a nice thing to have just after the gym. Eggs, bit of ham in there, protein, you know what I mean? And then, as a double up protein beast snack, I then have Rita's rain later, so... Mm. Come on, if I do. Oh, my God. I forgot. I need to have um, my protein shake. <laughs> Nothing like cereal mix protein shake to go along with <laughs> a uh, ham and egg omelette. Not quite sure why I always say and egg. It's a given. It's an omelette. But I'm saying goodbye to Alfredo because he's going off to his friend's house with his mum. Love you. Reconvening in a bit. All right, I'll see you then. Till next time, bye-bye. Got the house all to myself as Lydia is going down to a friend Tasha's because she's not seen her in a while and having a bit of a baby play date. So it gives me time to tidy up the house, spruce it up because there's just stuff everywhere, um, get changed, and then, like I said, get on down to potentially Howden's, the uh, unit worktop place where I'm going to be getting the stuff we need for the bathroom. And it's looking so good. Oh. Unlike the weather that is looking very grim and very foreboding for the letter that I have just received and I'm about to read because do you guys remember the situation with the house next door and the fact that I got a council tax bill? That was like a fine of double the bill. So it was a six grand bill that I had to pay. Otherwise, like the bailiffs were coming around or I was getting taken to court or something. Well, when I took care of that situation by speaking to the council, I was like, guys, no one's living in the house. The, the, the fact is that like, it's actually in a state of like not even being habitable. I spoke to them on the phone about it and they were like, you're absolutely right, we'll send an assessor out and then it should actually clear the bill so you don't have to pay it. Well, that was like, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks ago or something like that until today where I have received a letter from Tameside Metropolitan Borough saying, this is your last opportunity to engage with the council before enforcement action is taken. A liability order for the sum of £1,808 was issued against you by Greater Manchester Magistrates Court, Magistrates Court, sitting at Tameside Henry Square on this date in respect of non-payment of council tax. The amount currently outstanding is £1,808. You now have to either pay in full immediately or organise a repayment arrangement. <laughs> I can't catch a break. Every time I open that letterbox, there is a letter with a fine in it with my name on it. I, I, I try my very best to stay on top of all these things, like the electricity company coming gunning for my name, I managed to sort that out. The council tax, I thought I was on it sorting that out, and they've come gunning for me again to the point where I just rang them, and I'm like, guys, I, I, look, I, tell me if I'm wrong, I believe I'm waiting for you guys to send someone to assess the house to go, yes, it's in a state of disrepair, no one can live in it, it's not habitable, you don't have to pay the council tax bill, and until it gets fixed and sorted to a state of like repair and good standing, then you start paying your council tax. So basically when we knock it down and build a new house, um, I thought that's where we're up to. Please tell me if I am wrong. And the woman was on the phone, she was going through the emails, and da -da 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 -da, and she just was like, you're right. You are right, you are waiting for someone to come out and assess it, and it has not been scheduled. So you should not have received that court fine in any way, shape, or form. So luckily, she's put a hold on the account, on my name, on the business, on the everything, um, so no one goes sending me any more letters with bills on it. I'm just waiting for them to get in contact with me now to send someone around to assess it. But bloody hell, man. I was like, I was, I was nearly putting 
Alfie off to work at the local McDonald's to start paying all these bills and receiving. And hang on, speaking of bills... Even though this is not a bill, this is uh, my very somewhat random temporary looking gaming setup office until we get this room done, I've received the quote for it. Now, I will say it's come in a little bit steep for what I was expecting, but it turns out a lot of the value of why this room job here is going to be expensive is for soundproofing. Part of me kind of wants with this project to kind of like tell you guys how much it costs exactly, because then that way you guys can actually give me some advice on whether it's a good price or it's not, but it's like a lot more work that goes into it than, you know, like up in the garage of just putting a wall across it, because what we've got to do is put a wall across it, it's got to be soundproof, we've got to soundproof the ceiling, we've got to move the AC unit and the pipes, which I'm hoping my brother can come in to help with. We've also got to move, the. we've got to not move, we've got to add a door into that corner there, which is a really big job as well, and then we're going to like stack out this area here so this unit's not just sat along the, the wall. But the total cost and the price of it came in, I will say, honestly, quite steep, I wasn't expecting that, but... I just think there's a lot more work going into it that I didn't I didn't understand and I didn't understand the cost of soundproofing material because if I'm going to be here screaming and shouting, the one thing I don't want to do is have a ton of noise from here, travel up here and disturb the rest of the house. But time is of the essence to make the decision to turn this room from this now to this you can see on screen here via partitioning the room by putting a door here if we put the other image on screen right now. Because in October, the new Call of Duty Zombies is coming out. And as you guys know, I absolutely love it. And I may end up taking a little bit of time away from vlogging to get back to full-time streaming for a bit. I know some people are going to be happy about that. And I know you guys are going to be sad about that who watch the vlogs. But I love Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty Zombies. And if they're going to bring it back this year and it's going to be good, I want the setup to be able to stream from. I'm talking 12-hour like day stream. I'm talking 24-hour streams. And you never know if we actually do get it set up to a point when I am like full time streaming in here, I might actually be able to set some like other cameras up so it's like when I'm doing the, the gaming portion of the stream, I can be down here and then upstairs in the in like the kitchen and stuff or the lounge or whatever, we can even do like you know a little bit of a podcasty styly thing or you might earn PO box unboxing or a bit of a cooking stream or something like that. So I like, go full in on the streaming, so I kind of really need to get this room going and cooking with gas, but. Oh, it's just, it's a difficult decision. Like, if I want to get it done, we need to pull the trigger now, but it is going to come at a cost. So, yeah, decisions, decisions. Hmm, 3.38. And unfortunately, I've not heard back from Gavin Lomax about going to Howden's and getting the units picked. So I've got a feeling that that's going to be chalk today. I didn't really want to get them today. So then we had them to, for tomorrow to install, but I just do not think that's going to happen. And I'm going out riding at five o'clock. Plus me and Lydia have got to pop out now. So... I think it's going to be a, a rain check on the units and oh, have you, has he just woken up? Hello, have you just woken up from a big nap? You have, haven't you? Hiya, you big feet. Hiya. Oh, my little heavy dude. Look, I said the whole, is, uh, is your baby tired if you can lift up their arm like that and then drop it and it just falls? He'll probably fall asleep on me now. Unless he's in his lazy mode, should we see what his face is saying? You ready? <laughs> he saw the phone straight away. <laughs> what a cute! Oh my god, brother! Ew! This is not the weather for going out in shorts in or a bike ride later. But needs must for a family friend. Oh my gosh! This is this is rain, rain. Oh my god! What the hell? Just came out of nowhere, brother! Ew! Lydia just said, I thought you were a fair weather rider. And the answer is I am. And I am very against going out riding in this sort of weather. But the fact that my dad's installed the new back tire on my bike, so it should be grippier. I feel like I have to go out riding. It's still going out on Friday. I mean, you could not, there is no amount of money on this planet that, could, that you could pay me to go out riding <laughs> this. It, but it has just gone from zero to like. It's been like this on an apple day though. Yeah, but the moment we walked out the house, it literally, the heavens opened, didn't it? It was a sign to not go right, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, look, even this guy's hiding underneath a tree from the rain while taking his dog on a walk in shorts. I thought we were on, like, the, the edge of summer here. What's going on? This is summer. This is summer? British summer. <laughs> I don't it's like it. <laughs> yeah, send it back. Get us an holiday. Three, two, one. <laughs> Get the boy, get the boy, get the boy. Why are you looking at me like that, Mr. I'm so stunned? Also, it looks like he's got a tan. Brutal. Run, mum, run, 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 run. All right, mate, welcome. 
to toy heaven. <laughs> We're here for one thing. And one thing only, but we don't seem to see it just yet. And don't you start getting this. What is that? <laughs> No, Sandpit. Daddy wants that. No, Daddy wants everything. All of the toys. All of the time. That's it. Tell me you don't want that. Whoa. All right, here we go. Controversial thing that we're getting now because a lot of people say you shouldn't do it because it's no, not good for them. But I'm telling you something. I had them. My sister had them. Lydia and all her sisters had them, and they're amazing. So, little dude, what do you think of the walker? <laughs> he's, he's, he's like he's there within reaching distance of it, and. Yeah, no, but when he gets a bit bigger, I reckon he's going to be flying around in that thing. Look at the steering wheel! <laughs> you can do it! Go, little dude, go! <laughs> it must be so much weight for him to try and shift, but he's also a little bit stunned. Go on, then. Go on, then. Go, go for a little walk. <laughs> Look at his face. This is such a cool memory right now. Oh, my God. Oh, we actually prefer this one because it spins and it's got toys on it. You're welcome to try it out. All right, Alfie, you're upgrading. If I had a choice, I'd be going for that one. Because come on, look at that. But I think he prefers this one. Because look at all the toys on it. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? Oh, my goodness. Go on, little dude. <laughs> yes. Try and get him rolling. Come on. Come on, Alfie Boo. All he wants to do is just hit the horn. <laughs> He loves you. Decision has been made. We're taking it. And he is going to be zooming around the house, aren't you? Oh, no. We can burn this aisle down, can't we? We need nothing to do with this or that thing ever. <sighs> They've got one. You've actually got one. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> you, no, you're telling me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop staring at it. Have you not seen it? Look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. It's like a croissant E.T. I don't know why, but it, its face is so offensive to me. No, 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 no. Right, come on, we're going to find the Lego aisle. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. It does say for ages 16 plus, though, so we might have to wait a while for that one. Oh, my gosh. I had no idea they had so many different Minecraft Lego sets. Like, I've had a few of these before, but I didn't realise they had this many. We are definitely going to be buying them when you're older. Mission successful. We've got his walker. We've got a gift for a family friend, and we are out of here. And um, we need to do a breaking news flash. News flash. Papa Ken has indeed cancelled tonight's ride. I said I was still going out, still going at it, no matter what. And he has just sent me a text on screen now that he has pulled the plug on the ride and we're not doing it. I cannot believe it. I was there mentally prepared to get out in this shit storm. Don't get me wrong, I was not a fan of doing it, but I was all for it. But he's pulled the plug and the ride is cancelled. So we're on the way home. Ba, 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 ba. We're at the McCallum's Hello, What a chance to see you here. My bacon buddy best friend. Oh my gosh. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Whoa, that's amazing. We need one. Oh, very nice to see the McCallums because their little girl was one today. So we just dropped off a little bit of a present um, and now know that we need to go to the, the toy store again and buy that bulb machine because apparently it's only a tenner. Skyline transition to the Ferrari and I'm here with Nino because he's literally giving me a bag of something which, mate, is not going <laughs> to aid people wondering what you do for a living. No, no. When I get back and they see what's in this bag... I know. I might have the police turn up outside now. I don't have any use for them anymore, so you can... This is going to be played back in a courtroom, you do know that. Now, before I unload what's inside this black bin bag, we're back at the house, and you know I've been waiting for the iPad stand to get delivered. Well, it said it got delivered at 11.48, and it was signed for by the person at the house. However, no one in this house is signed for anything in the slightest. So I'm kind of confused. My only hope is that it's in this as a saving grace. Oh, yes. That's a big old box. And it's the perfect shape of an iPad. And am I right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can finally enjoy this iPad for the experience I want it on this thing because it's absolutely nuts. Let's see if I can just attach this like so. Oh, I can. And are you ready? Bum, bada, bum. It is oh, operational. Look at that. 
got a built-in trackpad into it. Oh, my productivity is going through the roof. I'm going to be flying through responding to you guys. Look at this. Success. Now for this absolute unnecessary package. Greater Manchester Firearms Police, please do not turn up outside the house. They have been checked. They have been cleared. They are the second batch that I believe they got returned to my mum and Nino from the police themselves from when my uncle died and this is what's left of them so um prepare pre prepare your brain cells for what you're about to see so if you remember last time i was stood in here after receiving a very dodgy package from nino grigio uh, it led to like youtube almost uh, putting a channel strike on my overall YouTube channel, and you can only get three of those before you get banned. I did nothing wrong, and even now I'm doing nothing wrong, so just for YouTube's sakes, I've read all the terms and conditions and whatever you're allowed to do, partner agreement, uh, when it comes to things of firearms. Firearms are not toys in any way, shape or form, but for educational purposes, I'm gonna show you what I've technically sort of inherited uh, from my mother's family member who passed away. Are you ready for what on earth was in the black bin bag because it's pretty bonkers. So it looks like I've got nothing, but in actual fact, I'm a cowboy. This is, I don't even know, I'm gonna try and read out as many of the things on it. This is a Smith & Wesson BB air rifle. I'm almost convinced you put like firing caps in them along with BBs in the end of them and then you can actually fire them. So just with the power of editing, I'm not going to show me loading ammunition. So uh, one second. Ta-da, it is there and done. I will say uh, for the fact that it is a Cal 45.177, it's a bit of an inconvenient way. It's cool, but an inconvenient way to rapidly fire a gun. Again, the whole rapidly firing a gun thing with a chambered gun like this isn't really the case. For aesthetics, pretty damn cool. But yeah, having to put firing caps for every single one not quite sure. There's the first of a few firearms that I've got. I'm gonna quickly go and get the next one now as I put that down behind me, bit of back. And then stepping back into shot with another cowboy ski over here. And this is a Saxby and Palmer from England. The whole thing of like, it's got firing caps. I'm pretty sure you put metal BBs in it and then you can actually fire away. So from a proper aesthetic standpoint, it's kind of a cool thing uh, for rapidly target practicing. Not that absolutely insane, but there's two of them so far. Let me grab another one. Now for this one, I'm gonna feel even more cowboy-esque because this is just, this is absolutely bonkers. Look at this, this says it's a Brocock. <laughs> a Brocock Limited, um, also 0 0.77, uh, 4.5 mil, uh, which is pretty cool, very old school, and has got some hefty weight to it, but um, I'm kind of skipping through that one, even though it's like all cowboy-esque, because I've got one that I think you guys, if you've ever played Call of Duty Zombies, will love, because this one reminds me of the stub nose from Mob of the Dead. How cool is that little thing? Again, this is also a brocock. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that's a little stub nose. I could be completely wrong, but yeah, absolutely mental. Do like the look of that one. Um, if that was actually one for the collection, that would be on a wall with like an MP40 and just creating a Call of Duty Zombies collection. That's actually a really good idea. Might be tempted to create myself my own COD Zombies Armoury. Leave a like if you'd like me to do that. Um, even though I like that one because it's like Mob of the Dead vibes, I've got an even cooler one in the form of this bad boy. Look at that. How incredible is that? I know I can't really pronounce this because it, I don't know. It looks like it says Sam Wesson. I could be wrong. I really can't read that. Someone will probably know. Pretty cool, clean looking gun. And I could be wrong, but I'm almost sure one of these from the experience of my uncle in the past um, one of these was actually like, I think you could load them up with like blanks. So obviously it's got the firing cap and that might let off a quite a loud bang, but I'm sure you could put in different cartridges to it. So like when you actually fired it, it was like an actual blank firing starter gun. So, you know, like imagine if you're like in like a, a race or something like that in the 100 meter sprint or something, you can fire it in the air and it actually goes bang, like really loud. So that's really cool. And now a few firearms there, pretty, pretty awesome. I also got a like holster along with it, so that's then going to the collection of all the guns that we now own in this house. But the reason why things just get absolutely batshit crazy now is because I've got only one last uh, gun to show you guys, and it goes a bit of an upgrade from, you know, these handguns. L let me go ahead and, um, let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you um, this bad boy. What is that about? What is that about? Instantly on the side, it says, made in Taiwan, 
and I am just absolutely flabbergasted by it. This is a 0.77 Mini Uzi. What, what, what on earth? I mean, actual disbelief at this entire collection. It is batshit crazy and absolutely bonkers. You load all your little BBs into there and fire away and everything, but that is just ridiculous. Automatic, whatever that is, and single fire. Just <laughs> cra crazy. I literally look like I'm ready to go play Call of Duty Zombies in real life. And I'm gonna throw this out here. I do, I know guns are not for everyone. I love them because I grew up playing like Call of Duty and stuff like that. But I'm gonna say this right now. Um, I would love to create a Call of Duty Zombie wall armory, maybe a room in the house, that we do a Call of Duty Zombie wall. So like all the iconic weapons from COD Zombies, maybe not like a Wonder Waffle or a Ray Gun because the Call of Duty official one's shit and you know what I mean, but like old school guns like this, iconic ones like Mustang and Sally and stuff, if we can get pretty good replicas, I think we should buy them and put like the, you know, the chalk outline out of them and collect them all. And then one day, if I ever do like a Twitch live stream or something like that, because YouTube's not a fan of guns and everything like that, if you do a Twitch live stream, maybe doing some target practice. So let me know what you think about that. Um, sorry for people who don't really like gun segments and all that. I'll probably put a timestamp on the start of this saying like skip to this point to, to skip past this. But yeah, absolutely bonkers. I was not expecting Nino Grigio to give me this today. And again, it makes him seem even more suspicious. But like I was saying, a family member passed away. It all got passed down to my mum. And then my mum my has given it to me to handle. Again, um, the firearms police have checked all these over. Uh, none of it is loaded. Uh, none of it has been mishandled or anything like that. And yeah, it's just absolutely bonkers. So yeah, just another day in the life of Tom taking collection of absolutely craziness. And so the collection grows. Absolutely bonkers. On to the next chapter of the night. A certain someone is trying. What is it, Lid? Is it? Pa Sp he's having spaghetti. He's having spaghetti bolognese for the first time. Ready? <laughs> that was a bit of a big mouthful. Sorry. Let's do, let's tone that down by an awful lot. Are you eating that? <laughs> you big chunky boy. Oh my gosh, he's salivating like crazy. What do you think? Like well, he's already got an Italian moustache, so I think he's absolutely loving it. He's just gone from absolutely scratching his eyes out like, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. Oh, do you, do you want to feed yourself? What, should I give you a bit on there? Oh, no, no, no. Look at that, just like his mother. Doesn't get fed, starts screaming and shouting. I'm going to get smacked over the back of the head. Are you eating now? Are you a big boy? Are you my big boy? Seven months old today and eating big boy food. <laughs> You're so totally awesome, dude. Lydia's now taken over motherly dinner duties because Alfredo was a striking. I do not apparently have the mother's touch, but look at this, we're joining him. With a bit of Italiano. I always say I don't like pasta, but you ready? It's pretty damn good to be fair. Really good. I've devoured my dinner. Alfie is still snacking away. Um, this is actually going to look like Alfie Drew himself, but it's actually me, age 30, drawing Alfie, and I'm going to show you what I've drawn. I know, Sam Jones, eat your heart out, but that's what I think Alfie looks like with a baguette in his hands right now. But Lydia's showing me something insane with this iPad, so go on, just draw a circle. So like a, draw a bad when circle. When I was in school, my kids were obsessed with drawing on iPads. I didn't know this. And they taught me this trick. So, if she just draws, like, a normal circle, like, it's completely not straight or anything, but then go on, show me your magic trick. If you do a circle and then hold it, it perfectly, like, straightens it. What? Do a square. That's sick! Nah, surely not. No! Now, let's Why just... It does stars! It, it does stars! What? Now, let's never talk about the fact that I drew my son looking like that ever again, okay? Sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> Lydia, dinner was delicious, but... Oh, that view might have taken the biscuit. Oh my goodness me. Stunning. Go on, Alfie. Say the line. Would you just look at that view? Boom. <laughs> and now for Dad's really fun job of the night. Cleaning up after Alfredo. It's a lot of mess you've made there, bud. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. Lydia is on FaceTime to her family, so I'm going to bob downstairs because I believe I have 
packages. So let's see what's inside them down in my domain. Are you Kevin? Looking good, lad. Now, unfortunately, one of these packages has just been spoiled for me as to what's in it because I dropped it and it opened. And it is, in fact, you ready for this? A hose pipe set. Thank you to who's ever said this. Pretty sure this is because when I was cleaning my bike off the other day, I was like, man, I really need a hose pipe. And I think someone's actually sent one into the field box. So thank you to that. Who has sent us? And no, it says a gift from Tom Leach. Since you won't buy yourself this, I thought you might need it from Tom Leach. So thank you very much for that, mate. He has sent me the Squirt Blaster 5000. I have no idea what the name is, but he has sent me... Ooh. Whoa, 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 an impressive schnozzle master. Um, he sent me a hose pipe. So when I'm cleaning my bike, um, I've actually got something to do it with. And we've got all these modes. Ooh, lovely. Hey, Tom Leach, thank you. And next up in the back arches. It's a big old box. And in this is, what the bloody hell is this? What? E-care maintenance sprays for bikes. What? Who the... What? Who the hell sent this? What is going on here? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Charged electrical bike store? Is this from... No! Get out of here! What? Ch <laughs> Chain lube! Wait, have I actually been sent a swag package by these guys? Reese from Charged Electrical Bike Store? Thank you so much. I don't see a note in it uh, or anything like that, except this. And all I can guess is that I've been sent this from the bike store itself. For, for me, me Schlogger 5000 for sending it down the hills. And um, now I've actually got something to clean my bike with. No, wait, I've got the hose pipe to do it with. And waterless maintenance sprays for e-bike. What? I was not expecting this. We've got a chain degreaser, chain lubricant, connect, connection spray, dry foam cleaner, and then a wax polish. Yo, if that is actually from you, I believe it's Reese. I've got the memory of a fish. Thank you so much. As if. Tell you something though, you're gonna have a very jealous Ken on your hands. He's gonna be like, whoa. Bloody hell's going in, it'll be, it'll, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be called in, in, in the Ken tax. It'll be like, one of those lubes is mine, and one of those tyres is mine. In any other context, that sounds very weird, but no way. A Magic Mary downhill tyre. Unreal scenes, thank you so much. Great, I have tidied the table up after Alfie's feast he had. And I have set aside this swag bag for my dad, because uh, screenshot on screen of me and him just on FaceTime, right, real quick. Um, he was like, yep, I am absolutely Ken taxing one of the, where is it, where is it, where is it, do, 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 um, bottles of lube and one of the tyres. So I would say again, Reese, thank you, but I just realised there's two names on this card. So Reese and Gary, thank you very much uh, for that. You've not just hooked me up with some swagger, you've actually hooked up my father, so appreciate it. The sunset's getting more and more gorgeous. And before you asked, yes, I already told my dad to go feck himself and to just look at that view. I'm now pulling off some like Santa Claus shit because Alfred has gone on up to bed and I am going to build whoosh, this thing. So when he wakes up in the morning, he can start whizzing all around the house. I'm probably going to have to move like the mats and stuff just so he can like grip the floor with his little toesy woesies. But that'll be ready for the morning. And I'm just saying this again now just because I feel like people are going to be bombarding about walkers. Like I literally see YouTube videos or TikTok videos like, you know, kids scooting around in them and all the parents in the comments being like, that's terrible for bad for you. But like literally me, Alice, all our friends, all our family, all our kids have always been in them and everyone is A-OK. -okay. No hip problems, no leg problems, no nothing. So before anyone does any backseat parenting, he's having it, he's playing with it. So shush, you mush. I'm going to time lapse making this, but I'm actually going to put the ticker clock in the corner over here so you can actually see how long this takes me to do. I'm reckoning it's only going to take a whopping... I'm going 15 minutes. I'm going, we'll have it done before 10 o'clock, but I could be very wrong. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So, yeah, that took way less time than I thought. Honestly, I'm actually very impressed with the fact that that literally just stood up, popped up. The longest thing that took my time up then was going, getting the knife to get in the box, and then go and get the battery and the screwdriver to put them in, but it's built. It's, li it's literally done.
That took no time at all. I didn't even need to time out that. I don't even know why I did, but it is what it is. Job done. Alfie's got a new toy to wake up to. A nice little gift for Andy. He's gonna love it. I know, but something I don't love, and it's my fault because I actually meant to point this out to the electrician, but I thought in my head, like, nah, it's fine. I won't end up using it in the slightest, but in hindsight now, I kind of wish I would have said something. And what it is, is in the back room, say if I walk into it, I flick this light switch on and off to control the lights in here, okay? And when I go into the garage, I can flick controlling the light off in there on and off, and then obviously the garage on and off. But say I leave the garage light on, and then I'm leaving this room with this light on, and I go to switch this off, I can't from here turn off the garage. I have to go back inside, flick the switch, and then leave. I know it's such a lazy man's problem, but I don't know why. I didn't suggest it because I was thinking of it. Putting a double, so a, a double switch here, like we put a double switch here. Because in that way, I could just flick both lights off here, turn them off, just like you can here. Why did I not go ahead and suggest that? I think it was because I just felt like I was annoying the electrician by being like, oh, this here, and maybe that, and maybe this, and then maybe a plug socket down here or something like that, do you know what I mean? I felt like I was just asking too much, but at the end of the day, you gotta ask for what you want, and I don't know why I didn't ask for a two-gang switch to be put there. A faux pas on my behalf. Well, it's safe to say someone is absolutely exhausted from his little car adventures. And you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow to see how it went. All I can say is I am like the proudest dad in the world and I love him. But speaking of dads, my dad's about to turn up outside the house. So to anyone who likes the mountain biking vlogs, there's gonna be a feature in the vlog tomorrow because uh, weather was really bad, but we're coming through, we're going out and we're absolutely sending it. So guys, if you have enjoyed this vlog and you're looking forward to hey, um, progress with the back room, cause shit has been sorted today and I'm really excited to get it going ahead, then make sure you tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next week day vlog because for some reason i film every single weekday of my life and put it on the internet for your faces so until then thank you for watching i'm loving you i'm leaving you and as always I'm